One of the things I realized at my age, I had a great career with Suncor and I really loved the company, uh, but I also wanted to do something else after I retired. So I kind of went into full retirement from Suncor and this little company came along which really reminded me a lot of where Suncor was about 15 years ago and I thought I could really help them. So I'm going to spend the next few years actually helping them. I will do a little bit of golf and, and uh, spend a fair amount of time doing that, but I'm really looking pretty excited about the company I'm with and the things I'm doing with the company. We have a, a bit of an advantage um, over a lot of startup companies. So first, thi first thing about this company is it's actually been in business for 10 years. So it's got it's got a pretty good base of assets, a pretty good base of production. So part of what we really need to do as a company is we need to get out and begin to speak to to investors really who are used to investing in this particular industry. And I think that's one of the uh, the benefits, as I'm told, that I'm bringing to the company is I actually know who to target and who to actually go after. She should be good investors in the company. So that's that's really what we're doing now. Uh, other startup companies, it's a little bit different, but the first thing you got to do is target who should be your shareholders. And a lot of it has to do with the personalization that one goes through uh, when you're seeing shareholders and really you know, having the patience to sit down and spend a lot of time talking to them and, and uh, getting to know them and them getting to know you. So a lot of what we did was not very fancy, it wasn't even high tech, it was a lot of that personalized visiting and the time we spent with shareholders and it really wasn't just one time, it was time and time and time again. So. You know, the one thing that I, I really wanted to do, and I think we were successful at, is developing that personal relationship with shareholders.